Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where we've had quite a, a cold, um, a cell of, of, how do you word that? A bunch of cold air came over us. It's winter time, but it's not just because it's winter. I mean, it's the fourth of fourth day of winter, and we finally got to a point where we dropped to nine degrees outside, which is killing off the last of our crops. So it's two in the morning, and I woke up all of our uh, of our growers. Our gardeners to get out there and and try to you know try to salvage what we can I marked everything to harvest that was capable of it so when they're done they're gonna head back to bed I think that's Alicia's last one really what I've done is just make sure it happens I've marked everybody to do very specific ones just to get it done make sure that that nobody decides now I'm going back to bed you guys have fun with that as a result it's still cold out here that you know our little chick over here health is doing okay because inside the mountain we're still holding at the freezing mark out here though we've got a rooster that decided to sleep outside health there it is shivering hypothermia so anything else having trouble that's well that's outside that's the problem um what are you at your baby pig okay we'll check on you too dogs are all fine baby pigs fine um okay the turkey is inside right yeah all right there is that a turkey that's a turkey so inside you know still above freezing so i can't really judge that a lot of the dog kind of crashed out here for the night and i found out why you know i thought there's all kinds of space over here i went to the trouble of building all this or at least getting it started and no one's using it and i realized i forgot the animal zone kind of or the kibble zone ended right here and i never expanded it into there so whatever lives through this cold night Hopefully tomorrow night we'll make it into a box and go to sleep in a place that's heated. So to make sure that this remains heated, I got David to run up here and get use one of our very last components. There's one left to get this heater built. So we need to go find ourselves some components this time. Well, I guess not until we get the, uh, the component bench researched, which is one third done now. So, how long have I run this since our last episode? Not long. I'm thinking just that evening. I don't remember what time of day that last episode shut down, but I want to say it was at the end of the day, so this is the middle of the night afterward. But I did find that second ship. We've got one right here, marked for... No, it wasn't marked. Ah. So, deconstruct you and the one that's up over here. So, we got two of them to deconstruct, and we've got at least another 12 or so. And there's two per, right? I think it's two per, so there's like eight right there if that's all machine, compact machinery. Anyway, so that's right, Ms. Grandma here had left a comment that she thought that Michael didn't get to one of these banks. It was this one or that one, but went back and checked and we do have only one running and it's running quite low. What I'm trying to do is figure out four in the morning we're starting to get power coming up on our solar panels. And I'm trying to figure out how many of these really need running trying to, to, to measure this thing see how far down it gets I'm gonna try shutting down two I did ask grandma to go through and refuel everything afterwards she had a training wolves so she, or, uh, training boars wild boars so she's gonna go and get back to her uh, her outdoor work um, did rooster make it through the night come on wake up health shivering I can't make them wake up I can Threaten to slaughter and then turn it off. Doesn't do any good. I can put a right there, an an or a animal sleeping spot there, and then go through and take it away. And that doesn't jitter it awake to go. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here because I've actually turned the the kibble area off of this completely. Kibble all the the. Uh, roosters and, and chickens and and turkey and puppies and piglets and everything else that's in the, the kibble training area are now just going to be out over here where we can see them and confined to this space here. I did a count and we've got oh probably half a dozen extra spaces not accounted for in here so they should all be able to get into here, get to their food, find a place to sleep and we've got is that puppy eating an egg? Wandering, no. So, <laughs> when last episode, the kibble did get down quite low. And I found all the eggs were gone. 
so I think someone came and made a meal out of what little food was there but so now this all of the sleep spots in here are reserved for the grazing animals so they've got a place to get in so I, I did that through the night so it was too late to have triggered that uh, rooster is right there health shivering still but warming up next to the fire he knows where to go when he's cold and uh, he'll be okay so that was the emergency in the middle of the night pause I need to know who's still up rabbit went back to bed Shantigo went back to bed so I didn't re um, work their schedules their their priorities to make them do that I just assigned them to it they're all capable of growing but what I really need to do next and I want to do this well, I, cautiously I want to take out as much meat as I can before it runs off our map at least of the big prey and those and there's another boy they move quick last episode they were here before I started the episode they were here now I'm seeing one where are they at they're scattered oh that makes it tough I think they're leaving so we've got one last chance to go and get a bunch of meat rather than you know, other than grabbing a squirrel here and there which is just a trickle of meat you know compared to the way we use it and to do it in a way that doesn't get us killed because these are all animals that will revenge easily and recognizing that we haven't had a raid in how many episodes now three four last one was the, the poison ship that dropped in right yeah that we came back from our our caravan to a poison ship that was done and I don't think anything else really bad happened after that. So we're due for something bad to happen. That's what I'm getting toward. Sangria, have you gotten some food? You have not. Let's let's meal up. And let's go take care of this early with whoever is capable of it. So Sangria, come and consume a fine meal. Andy, you already have. And you're armed. Tomislav, you could use a little more sleep... Ah, <sighs> but I want to make use of, of your skills. So come on out and get a meal. You're just going to go to bed early tonight. Rabbit, same thing. And because you were up late working on a uh, uh, fine meal, working on the emergency uh, harvesting. Shantigo doesn't have a weapon right now. That doesn't have a, an assault rifle right now. But he needs to get up and let's get that going so that we can uh, consume fine meal so that we've got the option. Michael is up. He's over here cooking fine meals. We did go down a little bit on the fine meal count because I had all the chefs working up here late into the night getting as much kibble as possible. And I found a bunch of kibble down in here that was not automatically being hauled away. So we actually had kibble. It just wasn't being uh, uh, prioritized. As you know, to get over to where the animals were that needed them, I did get a plasteel uh, turret into here in the night and one over there. I think we set those up at the end of the last episode. And instead of the one over here, I went ahead and dropped it into this space. If we've got to take it away, it's going to leave us a little vulnerable here. But most likely, if we're being attacked by something out in here, like a poison ship or a psychic ship, where we're going to need a turret out there the best they're going to be able to do is get into our turret into our gauntlet and face these guys but i seem to have lost a plasteel um turret and i cannot find it i was staring at that i don't know where it oh you're sitting right there you got dropped okay well that explained that you were supposed to be i suppose right over here as well basically double supporting anything that drops into our core we could possibly get to a switch here or here and get these guys running if we have to if this is the point where they dropped in we do have kind of a building to protect us in between that area and this switch yeah okay so you are a plasteel turret you are going to install and somewhere over in this area and you should be able to grab you need to grab over there so let's snag oh it's not it doesn't actually exist yet so you're gonna grab over there which doesn't work okay so that's fine you're gonna go there and we'll get somebody to move that but at the moment let's continue I get that got dropped too let's continue with um, 
uh, mealing up so we can go get some food. Um, Klaus, you have I need needs. There you are. Let's. You already mealed up. Okay, where are you at, Klaus? Over here. You. I did get handy to. No, sea stars, through the night to bring all the building materials to the walls over here, and I got handy to build the the ones that were going to be buried if we didn't get them built first. So I see she brought some over here too. So David has automatically gone over to work on these. Klaus is going to work on these. Unfortunately, in fact, let me cancel. Eh, I'll leave them. They won't they won't deconstruct unless I order them to. But I can't build these because we're out of components. So this is just going to have to wait. We're going to have to maintain these doors over here as a trigger to the game realizing this is still pretty strong. We've got these doors to get through, those doors to get through, these doors to get through. Let's go ahead and trigger that one to close again. So there's four doors in any direction. And two walls, lots more walls. I think we're safe over here even with that still exposed. We're not going to get to this by mining it. We're stopping there and we're stopping here. So we're not worried about being you know, accidentally vulnerable there. But we do need to get components going, which means I need Tomislav to get this research done. But I also need his gun for this hunt. So a long-winded way of saying, who else can we get out there to go hunting? So Sangria already has been assigned to get her meal. Klaus has got a meal. Yeah. Kathra, do we want everybody? We probably do. Let's think of it that way. Overwhelming bullets flying in in case something revenges. More so than we had available to us here. I mean, let's get at least a dozen guns up there. Maybe everybody that uh, uh, that is not on night shift. That might be the way to go. So, Kathra, yeah, we're going to have a lot of sleepy, cranky people today. We really are. Let's get you to grab a meal. Right over there, consume a meal. We've still got nine in that pile. And Natalia... You're actually in pretty good shape, so we'll take you even though you're your night shift. I think you slept in. That's right. Getting you up was kind of tough. You, you, uh, you needed your rest, so you didn't get up very, uh, very early for for your night shift. Michael, you are ready to go. You don't have a weapon. Let's make sure that you're on this, though. I don't know. I want Sangria to have your weapon for a while yet. Um, do we do something crazy? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the uh, uh, the machine, what are you, the mini, mini guns, but Michael's already trigger happy, so that's going to double jeopardy him there on that one. So let's get him something. Any revolvers left? Not. This guy is slow, but more accurate. And this guy's quick. And let's get the best quality of the auto pistols on you. Hmm. Hmm, is there a better way to do that? They've got the, the quickest warm-up and cool-down time. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that. So, Michael, although let's peek over here first. Other weapons are in this area um, here. You are a normal. Okay. And anything accidentally get dropped in here? Not yet. So let's get that dealt with. You, storage, are nothing but... Oh, that one's a mistake too. Okay, so what's one that we know is good? You. You've been reset. So copy you. And got nothing on rotten. Yeah. So let's paste. You are, where's paste? J. J. J and J. Okay. So no weapons down there right now. And there aren't going to be until we assign them to be there. Which hasn't happened yet. That's got to be, got to be thought about. Um... So, that one, that one, yeah. So, Michael, you are there. And I want you to grab the good auto pistol. I thought there was a good. Um, no, there wasn't. Oh, no, it's just a good, that one. Okay, so in that case, if it's normal, then we'll grab the normal that's down here. Now, you are normal and 100%. So, Michael, you're going to use this guy for now. So, auto pistol. When Sangria is done with her shoot frenzy over here, then we'll get that uh, that assault rifle back onto Michael. So, with that, we got as far as Natalia and Michael. So, needs. Michael, miss a B. Rest is there. Let's grab you a meal. Making kibble. Okay, when you're done with that but we'll let you remain down here. Is there any ones? Yeah, let's grab you that one. And Alicia is sleeping. She was up there doing some harvesting. 
She she's a decent shot, and she's got a revolver. So let's get her going too. Um, food isn't an issue, so it's just a matter of getting her up and ready. Um, let's give her a a simple meal, just to get her going. Okay. Um, or actually, I could just have her grab some berries, something like that. Consume some berries. That'll work. They. Oh wow. Just got to thinking or realizing. They actually got some stuff hauled out of here through the night, or at least through the end of uh, of yesterday and, and 7 in the morning. They've been up for an hour or so. So we're starting to fill up our freezer now that uh, you are... I split this up uh, between episodes thinking it'd be nice to get a smooth pathway through here that doesn't involve walking through clutter. So I think I'm going to... I think I've, all three of these have got the same uh, um, storage... Uh, specs, copy settings, whatever settings. So all three of them are the same. It's just that there's a pathway splitting them up. And a pathway coming through here is going to be smooth right down into there. I've still got to do that to this room right here to make that happen. But speed up the uh, the movement through the freezer system. We didn't have that over in the other one and would have been nice. Um, still doing too much talking. Alicia, you are going to grab some berries. Yep. So Eric, you are melee. David, you are melee, and let's give you guys other things to do. This one is very likely going to see a revenge, and you're not going to be able to... Though, if they're going to attack us, I think I'd want somebody with a club there to hit them back. But, uh... Um, I don't know, i got to think about that. It's also, potentially, the entire time having to just stand around doing nothing. So, Grandma, you... Uh, gun... Um, night shift, rest, you're good for a while. You are. You're in this area, aren't you? No, you're up doing, you're milking a buffalo. And we're way behind on that. I think I'm going to leave you out of it. Sea stars, you are night shift. Let's grab a meal and, no, you're melee. So you'll grab a meal on your own then. And Kaya, you're a day shift and you've got some skills with a gun. So you are making kibble as well. Um, how close are you two to doing that? Miss P, you're heading to this one. Kai, you're heading to that one. So you're cooking and you're cooking. Okay, so you'll be done with this in a moment. So you come down and grab that meal right there and we'll know that you're done. Okay, get this going. What to do with Eric and David? If they're gonna hang around here, what is the most important things to build? Um, probably walls. In fact, I would say, what are you doing right now? Eric, you are building granite wall. Down over here, getting this going. Okay. Yeah, I, I see that the uh, definite use for that. Okay, that. And I did get handy to start hauling things up into here. So we'll start sealing ourselves up in this area. And I got Rabbit. Uh, last thing he did before he went to bed, and Cathra, was to take out the last of the trees that are within our walls. So don't know if something else is going to pop in and start growing just as soon as we get there. Need to get this built so we can get that torn down. We do have a support column in here now so we can take the wood out of here once we get the outer wall sealed. So little by little, boar's given birth. So right over there, we got 54 and 53. And chick one is growing up. Egg one. What are you? We'll have numbers? No. So we're chicken egg and we're chicken egg. So you guys are over in there. Egg process 3.4% and 5.4%. And that the chicken is actually sitting on the egg. Is that just a coincidence? Chicken loving going on. Um, who's eating? Who's stopping by? Who were the last ones to? So I would say Kaya. Ah, right there. No, that's Michael. Where'd Kaya go? She probably grabbed her meal and is already done. Very possible. Let's do it this way. Over here, making kibble. Yeah, you're mealed. You're not. What happened there? Um, just leave that there. Come grab a meal. How did that not work? Hmm. Okay, I did something wrong there. I assume. I did ask to put... Are you eating it? Where's the dog? There you are. Okay. Eight? Yeah. I did ask... I did set up one stockpile over here to get some meals brought over. So I'll be able to grab meals and, and do like they used to do until this is all torn out. Um, otherwise, Kaya, you are grabbing a meal. I do like this system. Grab the meals and go grab a seat. I like that. But with that, I think we need to get this moving. Uh, 10 o'clock. Some, hmm, 
some meditating and what have you going on too. Hmm. But okay, what do we got over here? Where is an ibex, and are they still on the side of the map, or did they all split up and run? Boy, I don't see a single one now. Got a pig. They left, didn't they? I think they left. Down over here. Sangria is doing some more hunting. Don't see them. Well, let's see what's over here. We still have these guys and the deer. Anything else pop into here? No. Now, you know I'm going to get this all set up and a raid's going to drop in on us. I think these are the Ibex that are on the other side. I think they're leaving. I think they've walked across. So, let's double click there. And we got two Ibex does. The third one is not in this area. Did he go low? Do that again. Ah, he went low. He's over here. Okay. So, I guess we head out this way and work our way up, over, and then head into this herd. And somehow, hopefully, use the doors to deal with these guys coming in if they don't bust through the door they may all run around giving us one more chance to run out and set up a firing squad and then run back in play that little game if they revenge on us so unfortunately they're all mixed up we can't just take out the deer first we're still gonna hit an ibex and trigger them all but i think we're ready so let's call this one good kaya you are relaxing socially needs you're you're well fed okay so let's get the uh, the firing squad moving out here needs just make sure that all got done and draft and i didn't see what you were doing but you're heading to here handy you are playing horseshoes draft heading to here rabbit yep somewhere over here shantigo same thing draft over here klaus Looking fine, except for for Joy. That's hurting, but you can you guys can take the afternoon off when we're when we're uh, when we've got our freezer filled up again. So Sangria, you're already over there. You're hunting a squirrel, but I really need you over here. So come on over. Let's do this as a team. And Kathra, same thing. We're gonna survive. Draft, come on over. Natalia, enough rest to get through at least half of a hunt. I gotta remember about halfway through to check their rest and send a few of them home. So draft, come on over. We've got Michael, same, come on over. Nobody is in great shape, but they're enough. Miss a P, you're too close to your rest. You're gonna get here in time to break. So we're gonna leave you there. And Alicia, you can join us. Come on over. Um, Eric and David, I'm gonna leave you guys alone to do what you need to do. And hold up the whole hold the fort together grandma did not get food so the two of them oh they just i told them to do it after they got done with their kibble i assumed that meant that they would when they got done with that round of kibble but apparently it didn't work that way so just come grab a meal and right there yeah i just got to thinking haul did I trigger someone to haul instead of eat? But no, that was a dog that dropped off that. Okay. And then sea stars. Actually, Grandma. Now, your rest, you're not going to make it anyway. You're you're here. Okay. That's not going to work. Sea stars, same thing. Your rest is there. So, Kaya, let's get you out here. And drop into... I think I was going about over there. Okay. So, let's... There is one more. Right there. Okay. You're the first target. You're toast. And these two, do they make it off right there and right there? They're on their way. Are you actually going to leave? Yep, just like that. So they are definitely leaving, which means you're going to be leaving here soon. But you two, first thing, come on over to here. And let's take out an alpha beaver. Right there. Say goodbye. Come on now. There we go. Alright, we'll let a pig come and get that one. Who else is out here? All of you guys are. Okay, let's go to here. Ah, something like that. And the first two that get there, these two. Let's have you guys fire first. 
you should be well within range. If he revolts, we'll send you back and have the other guys ready to take him out. But let's get this started. Okay. Revenge, but he went down. Alright, pop over here. Put him down. Now, there were no others in the area. Okay, so that wasn't a problem. Jump to, and we're done with, with needing to remember that one. We're good. So you guys, come over there and fire. Come on. Seems like once they go down, they're much harder to, uh, to finish off. All right, let's grab everybody. Uh, let's go a little higher. Everybody. Is that all of us? Sangria's still on her way in, so we got to remember her. But let's move up into that last one. Gone? I think so. Okay, we've lost two then. So in that case, where are we going? I think we're going here. I think that's the best place. Maybe even take out an ostrich while we're at it. Sangria, let's get you up into here also. And... Have I missed anybody else? David's asleep. Miss P's asleep. Stesar's asleep. Uh, Grandma's going to be going to sleep soon. Resting. Yep. And there's one more, right? Natalia's with us. So we got to watch her. So, in fact, let's check her out right now. Needs. You're still good for a while. Who else was getting really close? Kaya. Um, Michael. It's okay. Kathra is going to need it here soon. She was up working through the night harvesting. Um, so was Shantigo and Rabbit. Rabbit's right there too. We'll just watch these. So Tomislav was also up there. Yeah, there. so many of them are right on the verge. We've got to get this meat. Okay, so all of you guys, let's stack into here. Yeah, I guess we go for Ibex first, because the deer are on the other side. Alright. Let's do it. Everybody can reach. Talia couldn't. Where are you? Natalia's not triggered this way. Is she here? You're over here. How did that happen? Okay. Um, needs. Yeah, you're good... For you didn't get a meal. That didn't work on you either. Um, gear. You don't have one. Arr. Okay. Let's see. One more time. Needs. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to release you. You go grab a meal. That's not going to work. All right. In that case, you guys can all reach. So let's do it. Okay. From here, can you still all reach? Nope. So let's move a little bit closer. Handy, let's put you here. Alright, hopefully that's going to function. Oh, no, let's just do that. There we go. Okay. One more. Okay, good. Right there. So far, so good. Alright, uh, we'll leave you uh, set for, for a bit. Okay. Um, where to now? And at what point are we getting too far away from that door? Okay, let's go just a little... Well, we can reach, right? We've got one pistol in there. That's what won't reach. Right there. Let's just try... Nope, one cannot make it. So who is that one? That was... Michael. Okay. Nope. He's got... His skill is, is getting quite good. So let's keep him in the loop here. Shantigo... I want you to be off to the side a little bit so we're not four deep. All right, you guys, let's go for this one. No, we're still not there. Let's go a little bit further. And Kaya, put you over here now. And try again. Now, by not hunting these immediately, I'm hoping that we can... Uh, right there, that we're, we're going to be able to shoot them accidentally and get it done. Okay, you're good here. Good. Okay, well, this is going really, actually really well. Better than I thought it would. Alright, so from here, dare we go after a an ostrich. Let's try... There's only one of them. So if it, if it revenges on us, there's less chance of it, you know, of multiples coming at us. Okay, that was good. So overwhelming 
a showering of bullets. That really helps in these situations. So it's not it's not perfect. You know, there's quite a few pigs in the area. We could shoot this one, have it revenge, and that one come in and bite us in the butt as a result. So let's hold off on the pigs. Just yet at least. Over here. What do we got? We've got Rabbit in the back. Rabbit, you're going over here. And all of you guys, what? This one, can we reach? We can't. Michael, what to do with you? Let's just put you here. And can you hit it now? Cannot, out of range. <clears throat> Buck Revenge. Come a little closer, and now a little closer. Okay, but well, we got him. Okay. So, of these so far, let's look at it this way. Tomislav needs. Rest is there, but you're fine. Handy, you're fine for now. Rabbit's here. It's not showing up there, okay. He's okay for a little bit longer. Shantigo's fine. Klaus is okay. Sangria's here. Catherine's here, but declining on me. Michael, you're still holding... Natalia left, you're consuming a fine meal. Um, Alicia, you're here? Yep, and you're starting to decline. Eric, David, Grandma, Kaya, you're doing okay. I, we, I think we can get just a little bit longer here before we individually hunt them and then haul them home. What is next? And dare we do pigs? There's a lot of them. We could definitely take advantage of them, but they could take advantage of us too if it goes wrong. Let's double click on them again. What have we got? You're still over there and over here. Okay, let's drop down further and then go after one at a time and see if we can keep them split up. So from there, turn you off. Uh, Cathra, you, you're Cathra? Yep. Yeah. You, you go right over there. All right, you guys, oh, was that a meal? No, it looked like someone pulled a meal out. They tend to do that. Okay, you're down. Man, we can't get to that one. Let's go, well, let's, let's take a chance and go, say, here. Because you're going to run down below and block our, our line of sight again, aren't you? All right, we're good there for that one. Okay, now let's take out this one. Except for Michael. Michael, you're going here. Still can't fire at me. Yeah, that, that pistol's a bummer. Okay, all of you guys come in a little bit closer. Ah, uh, there. Let's go for two more, and I think we'll call the... Well, and an ostrich, and we'll call this done. Oh, you're running toward us. Let's try it. This might be a huge mistake. It might be. We have uh, raccoons in the area that could also uh, attack us. Let's go to there. And Shantigo, you come forward to there. Four deep is a problem, but I think that configuration will work. Let's take him out. Overwhelming force. Good. Raccoon? Yes. Overwhelming force. Okay. One more? Yes. Okay. Ostrich is where now? There. Alright, this is our last major hunt before hopefully a migrating herd comes in, but I think everything's gonna leave the map, even the pigs. We've kinda gotta do this. So, fourth one comes back over here. You guys all do this. Okay, and ostrich. Let's go a little bit further, reconfigure. I'll leave the turkey for one more attempt to, to train it, but that hasn't worked so far. Right there. Okay, all right, so with that, let's clean up this mess, haul as many home as possible, take out all the ones that are still suffering. Well, I guess we'll leave the one ostrich over there, and there was nothing else over here, right? Just this small prey? Yeah, suffer sangria to, to continue hunting on her own. So let's pull out, double-click on the pigs, and unforbid, double-click on the... Okay, the injured over here. Let's, let's do that again, like that and hunt and all of you guys let's unforbid deer i'm getting other things but let's unforbid 
and we're going to hunt the does. And you, there we go, unforbid them. Are we good now? Except for what was down below. I'll have to come back and think about that. Okay, so with that, Rabbit, you, let's unforbid all, or let's undraft all of you guys. Rabbit, we'll start with you. I want you, you've got, though, you need something pretty close and get moving. Okay, so we've got this guy here to, oh, there's still a bullet flying through there. Let's get Rabbit to what needs to be hunted. And are they going to be easy to identify? Probably not. Yeah, okay, we've got a symbol over the top of, okay. But Rabbit, hell, you, oh, okay. Raccoon, let's, there we go, that's a good one right there. Rabbit, you take out this one. Hunt that one. Anything down here? You are dead. I need it downed. You, unforbid. Okay. So, yeah, you guys all scrambled on me. So, Alicia, you need to... Needs... Just haul something in. You can haul this one in. Um, Michael, Michael needs to hunt. Because he won't haul something in otherwise. So, Michael, you can... Hunt... Let's do more of those. That's the only one? Okay, the only one that need to be hunted. So, Michael, you can hunt this one. That way you'll carry it in. You're next to Kaya, who needs, is in great shape. You go a little bit further and hunt the Ibex over there. And who else is down here? Let's Sangria. You are already going to hunt a squirrel and shoot us in the process. Why don't you come over here and right there, hunt that guy. Okay, now who else? Let's let you guys separate a little bit. You guys are clearly off doing your things. Okay, uh, rabbit needs to be hauled away. So Klaus, I need you to hunt a buck. Nope. That one is a rat sitting over a buck. Need you to hunt this doe. Okay, who else is wiggling right now? Handy, how do I find out without you guys all running a little bit further away? Hmm. That's been taken care of. This one probably has not. Reserved by, okay. You, right there. You. Just out of curiosity, right-click, reserve by. Okay, so you're done. So all the hunting is done in this area, except that rat. Is that rat eating? No, he's just wandering. He's just sitting on top of. All right, so I think all of the hunting is done of things that are downed. So, Tomislav, why don't you haul in? Kathra, why don't you haul in? Right there. And Shantigo. How about you haul in right there? Before you do, though, I'm going to see what else has not been unforbidden. Um, we're fine here. And I want to see if there's anything else wiggling. So I can grab... You haven't. So I can grab one of those last three to go and hunt. All right, coming down this side over here. We didn't get anything over here. We did get the one over here and he is dead okay let's go up here and see who's still wiggling that one exclamation points coming off the two over here that one i think we're good okay anybody get through here without carrying something nope and nope all right so wow that was successful that worked out well doesn't always happen that way, but that one worked out well. So one last check to see if there's anything else I need to send somebody out to hunt. Otherwise, I'm going to leave them alone. They can go drop off their stuff, grab meals. If they need to, go socialize and, and uh, get their, their joy up or just go straight to bed and be thankful they didn't break. With the exception of forcing them to eat a meal if they're going in starving, but the other ones are more powerful. Otherwise, we're going to get them all taken directly to the new place so they can be butchered and processed. Meat? All the meat is out of here. Dogs are still hauling these off. Boy, it's good to see that. Okay. Kitchen is getting pretty filthy because of all the animals moving in and out, but 
That's just going to have to be animals. All of Sangria's hunts are in here. Because Kibble is back to being marked first. I could set one of these to not be Kibble first. Like we originally started on the other side. One Kibble and one Butcher. So whoever gets assigned to it, a little of each get done. And that's that would be best. Alright, so with that, David's up. He is viewing art. Alright, and needs... You're just about ready to start your day. And what is your day? Um, well, it's not building anything with components now. Um, it's probably getting this guy installed and getting all of these installed. So there to there. Get all the conduit put in. Lights have turned off. Batteries have held pretty well through the day on this side. On this side, we ran this all day long. We ran the the uh, uh, grow light all day long, which is significant. What was that thing now? It's 2,900 watts. I mean, it's almost two of these these guys, or one of these all by itself, running 24, or running, you know, the entire time at full wind. So they're getting a meal over here. So with that beast running, we're still in good shape over here. So we'll see what happens through the night with two of these turned off and random wind. That's a problem. The wind can't be counted on. It is random. So otherwise through the night was sea stars or you know, sleeping during the day. She's back over here digging this up. Let's have you get our new uh, uh, block cutting area done so we can get that going. And then yeah we do need this as well so we can get research going over here too. Grandma you're up. You are playing horseshoes. Then you'll either dive into this what was that? Sangria is out over here somewhere. Okay. Finishing off a squirrel. Good. Ah, we've got a little more little, little game in the area. Just the one. Okay. Anything else over here? We have a turkey over here. Another turkey. That's closer. Let's try taming. And let's try taming. Let's just see what happens there. In fact, um... Sangria. I can't actually ask you to try taming, can I? You need to go get a meal anyway, but I can't right-click on... I can! Hmm... Do you have, by any chance, you you do have some kibble in your pocket. Tell you what, come over here and try this. Sangria, try that right there. Will you go from where you are right now? You will. Let's just give that a try. Uh, a pig or someone else can come and grab this, this uh, squirrel who's being preserved in the cold water right now. Temperature in here? We are up to 59, so well above freezing now. You're set for 70. You are. Grandma is going to take kibble to go and do some more work for through the night. Okay, so Eric must be... Who else? Natalia is sleeping. Catherine's sleeping. Alicia's sleeping. Um, Eric, you are on your way to rest. Who can do some cleaning on their way in before they get in bed? So over here, this is Alicia's room, and she's already in there, so we'll disturb her. Uh, David's room is looking pretty good. Kaya's room is looking pretty good. Eric's room looks pretty good. Prison, I want you, Eric, who does not need a meal, come on over here and do a little cleaning in the kitchen, or the, the prison on your way in. In fact, why don't you kind of hit that one, and that one, and that one before you go to bed. Okay, that's good. Now, over in this area, who's heading to bed that could kind of help us out over here? Uh, Rabbit's already there. Michael doesn't clean. Catherine's already made it. Grandma's up for the night, and Miss Pee's up for the night, so that doesn't help over there. You two already made it to bed, so yeah, kind of missed the boat on that one. I like to get them to clean before they go to bed. Like over here. Klaus, you are resting, but on your way in. Hey, gotcha. Let's get you to clean up your room. That way I don't have to sign somebody to clean all day long. I can still get some cleaning done, but a little bit of micromanaging. And I'm not afraid of micromanaging, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> no raid yet. Hmm. Well, we got a successful hunt out of it. That's good. Ah, David and Eric got all these filled in. So, David, you are attempting to recruit purple. When you're done, bring over a big pile of blocks for that one. And I've learned that when I assign multiple piles of blocks, you know, do this one and that one and that one and that one. He'll bring one block to this one, then he'll bring a big pile over to this one. 
skipping everything else in between. The game just will not keep track of queued orders when it comes to bringing materials. It is so weird, but I see it fail on me over and over. Why? Okay, explain that to me. We've still got... Okay, we don't got. We have beds that don't exist yet. All of the sleep spots are filled, and the beds aren't there. That's what happened. Darn. We may lose a chick tonight. I was really hoping that they would claim all these, but yeah, some of them are not real. You're not sleeping in a in a animal bed. You're just laying on the ground, because that's where you were when 2200 and hit, and you just dropped. Okay, well, more sleep spots just to get through the next few days until we bring enough wood in to handle that. Then we'll erase this, this aisle down the middle. Boy, that's a shame. Okay, well, Chick, are you going to make it? We're at 23, no, we're at 60, no, we're right here, 18 degrees. Boy, if I could get you up. I could just get you up. Now, when I did reorganize some of this, moved the, the sleep spots around and popped in beds and did walls, it was at night. And then when I started the game up, they all jumped up, moved around, and then dropped into new spots and went back to sleep. So I've wondered if I could force a sleep spot under a chick and dog and these guys and leave them for a while. And then went through and, let's see, deconstruct, X. In fact, it's easier to do this. Cancel, no, deconstruct. That one, that one, that one. Nope, that's conduit. Yeah, that doesn't work. Did I hit that one too? Cancel you, all right, we'll do it this way. You deconstruct, you uh, deconstruct and the conduit. Cancel. All right. I undid all my damage. And are they going to just suddenly pop up and reset themselves? They're not. So there is that problem. You just can't do anything to get them moving. I wish you could send somebody to go nudge them. Sangria, can you right click? Nothing. Nothing I can do. I can't feed you. I can't tickle you. I can't pick you up and, man, put you in a bed or anything. That is frustrating. Someone with animal handling skills should be able to go manipulate the animals in more ways than we have available to us. That would be nice. See, Star is working over here. David, you are working there, and I asked you to do that. There's nothing I can do to get you other than quickly build a little house over our chicken. <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah, it sounds like fun. Structure and wooden wall. We've got wood nearby. Let's do that. I don't know that we'll lock in any heat, though. Um, wooden door. Temperature is already down to 15. You are not cold yet. David, your new orders are to quickly go and build that. But we will let purple have the priority because we really want purple to join it. That failed. Okay, so let's break so you don't sit there and think about it forever and then have you come up and do that. Find some wood nearby and hopefully a big stack. Grab the 75. 51. Not enough, but there is more right there. So that'll be fine. Let's see if we can save a chick. Because I have a feeling Mr. Chick is going to not make it through the night. We're down to 14. It was at 12 when they started having problems. Let's watch this and learn something. 13. We gotta hurry. Who else? Nobody lives in this area anymore. So we got no way to grab a helper. Or do we? There's a tapping going on. Sea stars. You do or do not have construction skills. You kind of do. Let's get you to... Hmm, I can't do anything until he starts. Boom, 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 boom. Get you to build this one. Though it may be a moot point. He may walk through this so fast. Yeah. Boom, boom. And we're sealed. We're actually sealed. So, sea stars. Cancel that. Go back to, uh, to what you do best. Thank you. Um, speaking of what you do best, let's build a copy across that. 
and we got to build these two outer walls when they're done. Okay, is that right? You, you're just a wall that, okay, you're, that's correct, yeah. So, we have effectively sealed in. David, why don't you, you don't really need to build that one. You really don't. Okay, so next I want you to, you got it installed, you, oh, you did all the work. Yep, good job. And here we've got 12 degrees. Health. May maintain that temperature a little bit better, especially if we get down to single digits. He may still be at 10 by the time the night's over. We'll see. And we're not going to put a, a, an animal bed in there, and we'll tear this down. Though i got to remember to tear that roof down, and we'll end up with a major injury before it happens. But we are now live. And click. There we go. So we have got some emergency... Um, Firepower, should something drop in over here, or a little bit of protection while we run over to flip the switch to fire these up, should something drop into here. We've got a little bit of bug defenses if something forms in our kitchen while we are trying to pop into doors and help out. And we've got our animals, for the most part, in for the, for the night, the cold winter night. 5th of December. Otherwise, I'm at 50 some minutes, so I'm going to call this one done. We didn't get another raid. So, another day of getting something accomplished, which is considerable. Where am I? Right over there. We got meat in for a while, and that's only about half of what still needs to be hauled in. So, I'll have to try to orchestrate all of that hauling before anything rots. Though we're going to be freezing a lot, a lot of the time. Though we're also unroofed. So, yeah, it, it, it goes against us either way. But that's next. What I'm going to do next is go fire up a brand new game called Foundation that just released in Alpha today. Uh, Murphy's already got an episode out. Vapor was streaming it today. And get a couple of evenings playing it and just getting used to it and enjoying it. And then maybe this weekend I'll... I'll Start creating a little, at least a mini-series, if not a series, on it. I don't really have time for much more than just RimWorld right now. Probably until, oh, sometime in June. I'm going to be pretty busy in my, my, my business. But it'd be nice to at least get, you know, a, a couple of episodes out, if not a few more. Just to uh, just to show you what the game's like. Um, nothing else for me to do here. Anything I talked about but didn't uh, actually do it. I, nothing's coming to mind. Almost unloaded here. Good. Um, that has been shut down? It has not. Okay, shut you down. So we've got a bunch more uh, hay than we thought. Okay, with that, better call this one finished. It's been Noble Rambler. Catch you later. Bye-bye.